Um, so this is a 74 um, Pop Top Westphalia. It's an extremely rare color. Uh, it's a 1974 Yosemite yellow. They only made this color uh, in 1974 for one year. So it's a very unique VW bus. So if you're interested in a bus that is a pop top camper and you maybe you want something a little more unique than the rest, then this would be it. And uh, the reason why is because things like the color right here and also the interior is a um, blue, green, and a little bit of black checkered plaid. Um, it's a Westphalia from 1974 and up. Um, that's what this is here. Um, don't be discouraged by the dance and the little bit of surface rust that you see because that's what we do. We have body guys, they'll take it all out, they'll make it beautiful, cut out the rust, put new metal in it, patch everything up. Stuff like this is a piece of cake, pull it out, um, patch it up, no big deal, put a new um, rear, rear uh, tail light housing in it, and that's easy to do. So let me open up these doors. A lot of times to have uh, to have the key that actually works for the door is kind of uncommon. It's not really a thing. But these actually work slowly. There we go. It's working. Okay. I'll open this up. Go ahead and get a look at the inside. Um, that checkered blue and green plaid interior is what I'm talking about that makes this so special. They only did that in um, 1974 and up models. And it only came, this particular color only came with this light green. So that's what makes it special. And I'll open up the other side. And you guys can see the other side. It has the, all the camping interior in it. It has a stove, it has a fridge. Um, it has a table, it has a back seat that pulls out to a full bed. Right there you can see the propane tank. If you load that up with propane, that's what powers the stove. That door's a little slow, but you know, when we restore things, we grease everything up, all the joints, everything slides out real nice. You can see some of it right now. You need to have a little bit of an imagination when you look at these to imagine your dream bus and look at the work that we've done to know that when it's done, it will be beautiful and gorgeous and as original as possible. The headliner on the top is really beautiful. A lot of these headliners that we buy, uh, the wood is falling, it's ripped, it's cracked. It doesn't look as nice as this right here. This is a super nice, Headliner. So all this um, surface rust that you see right here will be taken out, grinded out, and primered and painted. Um, it won't look like that. It, the rust won't grow anymore after after we treat it. Um, it this is all super duper common. Um, it's not intimidating to us because we've dealt with it so many times. We already know that the bottom floor right here is very common for rust. The little side corners also get rust. Um, I'll move out a little bit. You can get a little shot of that, but you can see like the, the surface rust areas, they all get grinded down and treated and repainted and everything looks really nice and beautiful. And for those of you that are watching that are familiar with buses, You'll notice that when you look at the floor right here, that floor is super beautiful. That is the number one rust area for a bus. And when something like that looks really good, you know that the rest is gonna be pretty healthy as well. So this cabinet will go to the back where it belongs. Uh, that motor obviously will go to where it belongs. And uh, the tent is already replaced. It's a brand new tent with brand new seals. The top, the pop top here, the fiberglass has already been treated. It's already been prepped. Any repairs that it needed was already done and painted. So this top portion is already done. For this bus, um, this is a bus that I love because it's so healthy. It's, it's, it's in such good shape. 
that for us it's just body work paint it back to the original color do the interior you, you notice that the interior is a little worn so all this would be new fabric brand new new cushion and it will be original back to the way it is now but just brand new looking and uh, of course the paint and all the seals will be done and you'll have yourself an extremely rare very desirable Yosemite yellow pop top Westphalia and it's gonna be a really great price too because this one is a manual transmission and not that there's anything wrong with manual transmission it's just that a lot of our customers want automatic this one's manual so you got to learn how to go through four different speeds super duper easy to learn no big deal and you'll save a good amount of money just by knowing how to drive a manual stuff like this is the surface rust I told you about so if you zoom in a little bit or come closer what I mean by surface rust is that it's literally on the top it's not like falling apart you couldn't break this with your hand if, if you can break rust with your hand, like by touching it and the rust breaks, that's a, that's a big deal, it's a problem. But this stuff is just surface. It's very, very solid. All it means is you sand it down a whole lot. And body guys, they do that all day long. That's what they do for a living. This is no big deal. They grind it down, they put primer protectant over it, and then it's you know ready to paint. Stuff like this obviously is fine. You sand it, no big deal. So that's really it on this. I mean, you got a couple little dings. That's super easy. Body guy pulls it out, no big deal. Um, this will be a beautiful bus when it's done. The seals will be replaced. The motor will be running as best that that motor can run. Uh, new carburetor, new battery, new distributor. Uh, so many other new things, probably new heads. Who knows? We don't know until the body, uh, the mechanic gets to it. They'll start ripping it apart and they'll tell me what's wrong with it and we'll repair it. So it'll be a perfectly good running motor. Uh, you can take this bus on trips. You can go far. Um, I would say AAA is always nice because flat tires happen. Like even in my new truck, still things happen. So, but reliable, hop in, go make it a daily driver, whatever you want to do. Uh, that's just the inside without a motor uh, nothing special there other than the transmissions there um, waiting for a motor to go in so it can drive and uh, if I can get this back part open we'll get a look if not you know get a look later have uh, new tires all the brakes are done every bus that we do that's like in the restored rehab condition all gets new brakes um, everything about the brakes is new we take it all out and put new brakes yeah it's not doesn't seem to be working um, it's new brakes uh, new tires yeah everything and I'm sure that if you guys are paying attention right now and following, you're aware of the buses that we've already done, so you'll have a really good idea of how this is gonna turn out. So, the one thing that I'd like to mention and, and express is that look up, look up 1974 Yosemite yellow buses and you'll see how rare this one is. Yeah, I don't know, it's not working. So we'll have to figure that out. That means that we're going to dip in the middle, crawl in. Uh, there's a motor right there, too, so that's going to be a thing. But uh, for some reason, this isn't opening up. So we'll figure it out. So, yeah, that's it. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous bus. I'm not even kidding. Like, if it was me, I would. It's just me because I'm kind of purist or whatever, but like, I would pull this dent out. I'd keep the little surface rust, put some nice tires, get it running, and I would drive it this way because. The inside is so, so clean that I don't mind it. Like the interior is not perfect, perfect, but it's really, really nice. It's uh, it's up there on the buses that we bought that are, you know, in for restoration. This one's really, really nice. Yeah. And all you guys overseas, I know you're drooling over it, but you know, the price is the price. So 
that's what it is.